Welcome in and thanks for joining us for another edition of TPI Talk. My name is Scott Hardy and today we're joined by Dr. Derek Holcomb of Russell Medical to discuss Colon Cancer Month. Uh, so Dr. Holcomb, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yes, sir. So uh, you've been a medical mainstay in the Alexander City area for almost 25 years, but uh, in the event that somebody doesn't know who you are, could you give a little background on yourself and your medical specialty? Sure. Um, I'm from South Carolina. Uh, I did my undergrad work and um, medical school at the University of South Carolina in Columbia, South Carolina. Then I made my trip to Alabama to attend UAB for internal medicine. Uh, I completed my internal medicine training in 1991. Then I actually worked in the emergency room here in Alexander City full time for a year. And that's when I became familiar with the area. Uh, I loved the lake. I loved living here for that year. Um, from there, I went to uh, University of Tennessee in Memphis, Tennessee and trained for two years in gastroenterology. And uh, I actually met my future wife here in Alexander City, Robin. And uh, after I finished GI training, we looked at many areas in South Carolina um, and uh, eventually settled on uh, Alexander City. I've been here now for 24 years, going on 25. Yes, sir. And so, as we said, uh, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And as we were talking before uh, the video began, the importance of screening. So, can you give a little insight into why it's important to get screened? Well, you know, colon cancer is the second or third leading cause of cancer death. And when you look at other cancers like breast cancer, lung cancer, we're trying to detect those early. And with colon cancer, it's different. Um, Colon cancer is preventable. Colon cancer generally starts as colon polyps, which are small tumors in the colon. Uh, these polyps grow over time and some polyps can become cancer. So the goal of screening in colon cancer is to uh, proceed with the colonoscopy to find any colon polyps, remove the colon polyps, and to prevent colon cancer in the future. Yes, sir. And so um, in terms of the ease of the process itself. I know a lot of times people may be fearful of actually getting the procedure done, but could you go and maybe give us some insight as to why uh, the procedure is a little easier than it has been before? Well, first of all, the, the preparation is what most people talk about and they're, they're worried about with the colonoscopy. We uh, do a very slow prep. Uh, patients remain on liquids for the day prior. The laxatives are simply bought over the counter and it's a, a slow, very well tolerated process. Uh, years ago, the, the process was basically drinking a gallon of uh, Go Lightly the night before, and it was not that well tolerated, and frankly, the preps weren't as good back then. Uh, but in this day and age, the preps well tolerated, um, and the procedure itself, people are afraid of pain, embarrassment, etc. But the procedure is not painful at all. We use the anesthesia department to give sedation. We use a medicine called propofol. Uh, patients fall asleep in 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, they awake in a minute or two. They feel like they've had a great night's sleep. Uh, and the procedure's over. It's uh, very easily, uh, totally painless. And if a colonoscopy is normal and a normal risk patient, that's a procedure performed once every 10 years. And again, we're here with Dr. Derek Holcomb of Russell Medical. And uh, Dr. Holcomb, in terms of other cancerous uh, diseases, most times there's a hereditary factor involved as well. Does that apply to colon cancer as well? Uh, yes, it does. Um, first of all, um, colon cancer is pretty much equal between men and uh, women, although slightly more common in men. If there's a family history of colon cancer, basically a first degree relative, mother, father, brother, sister, then it's recommended to screen for colon cancer, uh, having a colonoscopy at age 40 rather than at age 50, or 10 years younger than that individual. So if your brother had colon cancer at age 45, then it's recommended to have the first colonoscopy at age uh, 35. Another new recommendation that actually came out the year before last, and I'm not sure it is yet recognized by Blue Cross or Medicare, but it is recommended to screen uh, black individuals at age 45 rather than age 50. I got you. And that, that was going to be one of my next questions. I didn't know in terms of, of race, was there a certain age limit as well as that because that has been an uptick in the amount of African Americans who were yeah. uh, being diagnosed as yeah, well. I think that's been known and, and that's the current recommendation, age 45, and that's what we recommend. Yes, sir. And so um, I know 
there are probably some things from a lifestyle perspective that you could do to maybe prevent um, the risk of getting uh, colon cancer. Are there any suggestions that you may have for a particular patient? Well, there's not a, a whole lot to do that can um, make a big change uh, in the risk for colon cancer, but a uh, healthy lifestyle is recommended. A diet lower than fats. Uh, believe it or not, the one aspirin a day that's good for your heart, it also has been shown to lower the risk for colon cancer. Um, and of course, exercise is recommended. But, um, that's about it. Yes, sir. And so, again, in the event that you know the screening comes back and surgery is needed, is that something that could be handled in your office or would they be referred to someone else at Russell Medical? No, we actually have uh, surgeons available here. We have a uh, colorectal surgeon available now, Dr. Gregory Kennedy from UAB, who's excellent. So if we uh, find colon cancer here, uh, I get in touch with him and if the uh, patient's average risk, then we do the surgery here. For some reason, uh, there's extraordinary circumstances such as uh, a moderately obese patient. If there's higher risk at that point, the surgery would be done again by Dr. Kennedy uh, and at UAB. Yes, sir. And so before we wrap things up, again, for anybody that may be on the fence and has reached that age of 50, uh, that may be on the fence of getting uh, the screen done, just anything that you could say to maybe push them to come in and come see you. Well, the uh, one thing to know is that you don't have to be referred by your doctor. or that's where, That is where most patients come from. But you can just call my office and say you're interested in having a screening colonoscopy. Uh, they'll give you instructions. You'll uh, come up and do brief paperwork. They'll give you instructions. You buy the prep over the counter and have the test done. It's that easy. Yes, sir. Well, Dr. Holcomb, we sincerely appreciate you joining us today and enlightening our audience on the importance of getting screening. And again, if you have any questions or anything related to this, please go by and check Dr. Holcomb out at Russell Medical. But again, this has been another edition of TPI Talk. My name is Scott Hardy. See you next time.